Good morning everyone Good from morning. Turkey. If you haven't been watching our adventure, make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with our travel journey in Turkey. As you know, we should we are supposed to be in uh, Alanya, <laughs> however, we are not. We are somewhere close to Konya, uh, and we are now uh, parked with a tent uh, at some small reserve, water reserve near Konya, more into direction of Alanya. And the reason we are here, one of the reasons is that yesterday we had some issue with the car. Uh, we had uh, we had the oil changed yesterday and everything was fine after 100 kilometers and then we suddenly the car just stopped uh, working in the middle of the road and it uh, had some oil uh, it was showing some oil error uh, we couldn't understand exactly what we even have this uh, uh, scanner to check for the uh, errors, but um, didn't make any sense. Then everything started working again, and uh, we didn't figure out what was the problem. And of course, it wasn't a pleasant experience. We also noticed that our car doesn't really work well when we are going uphill. Uh, and. Uh, we have been traveling almost for a week now, like five days or more. And so far we didn't have any rest. We constantly have issue with the car. We are constantly on the way somewhere because our main destination was to go down. Uh, and before we even reach this place, it's already one week away, one week gone. And uh, Turkey is like, turned up. we know that Turkey is big. However, you spend so much time uh, just driving to reach the interesting places that we didn't really think about it. Of course, we knew the distance, we knew everything, but this is our first experience, uh, especially on car. And there are many small moments that are a bit stressful for us. And uh, the thing is that like we are not... Uh, well, we didn't plan to travel full time here. We wanted to stay at places a bit longer. Uh, we also have vacation for only two weeks, and then we again have to work. And we still didn't find a normal like situation when we will be able to work and uh, drive at the same time. Uh, the issue is also internet. Uh, it's always dead. You can be stuck in the middle of nowhere, and there is no internet at all which is kind of scary you know we are used to for example in georgia even in somewhere somewhere far away sometimes there can be some at least some kind of uh, some kind of uh, internet and here it's like dead uh, and it's kind of bad you know even if you get stuck just for example in the middle of the road uh, you need or you have some issues you don't even have internet to search for some information the vacation is coming to an end as well. So we decided uh, that probably we will not be uh, heading mm, uh, to Istanbul. That was our plan to go down and go up to Istanbul. However, not with this car, not uh, this time. Seems like uh, we also didn't prepare enough and there turned out issues we didn't know about uh, because we checked a uh, car a million times we have been preparing a lot for this travel to make sure that everything is okay and uh, we had a very good specialist and he said that everything is all right with the car uh, but turned out it's not and we don't even know the problem we can of course go to someone in turkey ask them but we don't speak any turkish we need to explain then they also need even in georgian when i'm being explained or i'm trying to explain even in georgian sometimes it's not so easy you know because it, there can be some misunderstanding and you're trying to explain something 
and especially in Turkish, I mean, you understand, right? So this is the story. We decided that we will probably go to Alanya anyway, at least see the sea, at least swim. We wanted this so much. And then from Alanya, we will probably go up to Ankara. And from Ankara, then we will go up to Sinop. Uh, that's already to the Black Sea and then we will, from the Black Sea uh, we will head to uh, Batumi, go back to Georgia and then we don't know. At least we will be much closer to, uh, to our country. We also were advised from one of the locals uh, that uh, it's better to drive from the top, from the Black Sea, it's like better roads. Uh, because here there are a lot of uh, uphills, downhills, like uh, we didn't really know about it. If you come to Turkey on a car, like car needs to be uh, really, you know, we have sedan and the issue is not that it's sedan only, uh, it's kind of old and the, some issues may not appear right away and you might come to a difficult road that you haven't met before and that is when issue might come up suddenly or maybe it's, it won't come up but then at some moment it will be like okay now I have a problem so yeah we kind of had a little expectation that maybe something would go wrong maybe because we know our car is not super new but it's not super old either but the issue is that the previous owner seems like didn't really take care of it so it's kind of a bit, uh, that's why it, we had to fix a lot of things. So you need to be 100 or 200% sure about your car before really heading to such a big adventure. We are preparing our breakfast. We also ha have another issue with the fridge. We bought uh, some ice. We hoped that it wouldn't melt, uh, uh, but it did melt and it didn't only melt, it also leaked. So all our stuff in the fridge is wet and the water just keeps coming and coming. And it's, uh, yeah, like it's even white and we have no idea what it is. So now we are trying to at least dry it out a little bit. It also got windy, yesterday it wasn't. Uh, we are parked right at the road uh, and uh, right on this side, this is a water reserve. You can still go there, but we thought we wanted to be a bit further. And that's where most people go. Yesterday there were really a lot of people. Uh, here is our tent. Uh, I think you are already familiar with it. <laughs> but I will show you. What, what if you are not? <laughs> our tent. Uh, our lovely chairs and table and today for breakfast we have baby tiny sausages and what else what else coffee oh yeah and coffee it was also really funny that when we left georgia we were like we are so tired of dogs they are constantly barking every day everywhere whole day whole night they're everywhere, like, I, we love dogs, but when there are more dogs than people <laughs> where you live and every night you sleep, uh, hear dogs barking, we don't like it, all right? If you like it, it's your choice, but we don't. Uh, it doesn't have to do anything that we don't like with dogs, but I don't like hearing dogs barking whole night. And we came here <laughs> with the tent and whole night there were dogs barking in Turkey. In Turkey. <laughs> there were there a lot of cats. Everyone knows that Turkey is famous for its cats. And here we found a spot where there are a lot of dogs. Like as if we came back to Georgia. <laughs> Baby sausages is done. Doesn't look like it's done. <laughs> hey. Uh, Alright, let's go. Well, yeah, there are some yeah, big... Whoa, 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 it's my foot. Go away! There are like some weird huge insects. Like yesterday I saw like really huge ones just flying. It's heavy and some big bug. <laughs> big bug. 
good. Yeah. We have been on the road so long that we still have some food left from Georgia. Like we still <laughs> have some something. Like we, we uh, don't even have. <gasps> oh. Bread is dead. <laughs> Our we don't have bread anymore. <laughs> it's spoiled. How did it spoil so fast? It's not fresh now. Okay. Is everything? Oh. Oh, all right. Oh. Huh? Oh. Yeah, at the bottom oh. as well. I think just I think Turkey doesn't like us. It's like here is a uh, spoiled this or this is that. All right. Okay. No negativity. All right. <laughs> Some barbecue sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really helpful in Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, butterfly. <laughs> we even have ice cream from Georgia. <laughs> we have like everything. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. This is our sausage. It's so dry. <laughs> Yesterday we had some big sausage, which is kind of um, like a bit darker one. It's especially uh, for um, barbecue. for barbecue, yeah. And we fried it, and it was good. Yeah. Yeah, because we didn't know it, and uh, once we tried it without uh, frying it, we thought you can eat it without it, and it was horrible. And then we found out that you can you actually need to fry it. Not something wow, but yeah, it's nice. You can eat it. Yeah. It wasn't dry because in Turkey, I noticed people like dry stuff. Mhm. Mm like Almost we are, yeah. yeah, we are used to more. Um, not everything, of course, but many things are dry. Uh, what is this called? This uh, like pretzel, but. Uh, uh. This round thing, something similar to pretzel, with uh, it's sesame on top of it. Yeah. And they just eat it, and it's so dry. And mm -hmm. I saw people just eating so t like as if it's so tasty. Just bread without it. Sausage. Yeah, it just yeah, just bread and dry also. Mm -hmm. And people eat it, and that mm, sausage yesterday wasn't dry, but this one is as if you are. Eating uh, like sausage with carton, carton, paper sausage, paper sausage, <laughs> paper, paper sausage, paper sausage. <laughs> Do you want juice? We have like the juice. No. I think it's water. <laughs> no. It will be uh, like a shake no. or smoothie. Yeah. What I like is that Turkish people can be very, uh, like, you know, helpful and friendly, especially when they see you are a foreigner. Even though what I don't like when you tell them you don't speak Turkish and they continue speaking with you nonstop as if you understand, <laughs> and you tell them no Turkish and they keep uh, like speaking with you as if you understand, <laughs> that is kind of annoying. But in any case, um, they try to be helpful. We once had issue with the car, we stopped and some guy just turned uh, turned back for us, asked us if everything is okay. Then he said, like, my big brother is working uh, in Georgia and showed us some picture from Instagram. <laughs> then advised us to go, uh, like we were heading to Cappadocia and said you should go from like uh, Black Sea and so on. Uh, then we had like... Just random, you know, interactions, uh, like when you go to the store and as a gift they just give you apricot, for example, like <laughs> yeah, nice. you are at the uh, petrol station and you don't expect there something like that, you know, you just buy water for yourself and they're like, here is your apric apricot. <laughs> and it's nice, um, they often like, we know, uh, like you shouldn't say no and they often uh, like offer tea, for example. And when we were uh, changing oil, they offered us tea, but I remember it was so hot <laughs> and we just said no, and even though we know that it's, it's kind of not nice for them, but it's hot, you know, I can't drink this tea. 
But then they bring us water, cold water, and it was so nice, you know, they kind of understood, and we told them, you know, it's hot and we don't want, and they said, okay, and then they bring us water. <laughs> They're like, mm. they don't accept, no, they will still offer you something. It and was really nice. Yeah, that's very positive, you know, in Georgia, uh, I think uh, it's kind of less of it. I always feel like... Uh, Maybe because I'm Georgia, because Georgians, with Georgians are not that friendly, but with tourists they can be more friendly. And uh, now I feel that more here, I don't know, maybe Turkish people are also not so uh, helpful with uh, each other. And um, kind of sad, you know. So what conclusion? Be tourist. The conclusion is <laughs> to travel and be happy. <laughs> We left our camping spot, just wanted to show you the water reserve where we spent the night at and we didn't get close even. Here it is, it's surrounded by a lot of protection but there are holes like this made by people and they just go in there. There are a lot of people fishing there but there are a lot of signs as well that no swimming. And usually it also doesn't look like it's really good for swimming. Small rest, just enjoying the views of Turkey. Where are we now? <laughs> Which Wait city? <laughs> so there is a very beautiful mountain. However, from the car it seems very beautiful. When when we stopped now, Beşehir. it's it seems very far. Where? Beşehir. Beşehir. So we are in Beşehir. In a park, there is also uh, either is it a lake or it's water reserve? Yeah, lake. There is a lake. Actually, we were thinking to go stop here yesterday. Yeah? yeah, this is the one. Yeah, we were thinking to stop here, but it was a bit too far from uh, from the city, and uh, that's why we were not sure. What if there is nothing and it's too far, and then we would be stuck in the middle? Here is beautiful view on the mountain though there are a lot of these uh, plants and we cannot get close to the lake at least from here maybe there is like way a bit closer and there is like parking spot and there are a lot of uh, minivans campers so I don't know but this place doesn't look really nice you know to stay here I don't know and this tiny park there are a lot of like tables time to move <laughs> yep we found a spot where you can go a bit higher and i think from here the view is much better right yeah. yay and it's also windy yeah so we were somewhere down there in the park and from here you can see everything much better and you see there is like hardly anything to go closer to the lake. Maybe from the other side, because I saw that uh, you can somehow get close. And also there is something big swimming, actually. Did you see it? Mm. There was something big. What is this? You see? Mm, no. There is something. Mm. No. You don't. Ah, oh. it's a bird. Ah, yeah. it's birds, yeah. I just saw something ducks, was swimming. Yeah. Maybe ducks, yeah. We reached the Mediterranean Sea. Finally! It was very hard, <laughs> especially with the issues that we had with the car, with the road. Uh, we are finally here. Sun, temperature, moisture. Yeah. It was so wet. We are so tired and we finally found a place where you already start choosing between places and not just, <laughs> I will just stay anywhere, just let me stay anywhere, okay? <laughs> and here you can already choose, you have a choice, finally. Uh, let me show you around real quickly and then we will start opening camping season. Here is the location. Uh, you see there is like a lot of trees, there is a huge forest which looks very artificial the big minus that I noticed in Turkey that people leave trash everywhere this is horrible I know that's done in many places but I have never seen this many trash like not only this 
like I don't know if you see on the video but everywhere there are like trash there's a lot of trash this is very bad and we chose this spot so our car is parked here and right here is the sea and we did try to get close there is a road uh, not from here but a bit far away but we decided that we don't want to have our tent in the sun and there is there there is no shade at all so that's why we chose to be in the shade and we will just walk to that direction now we'll have to clean <laughs> trash not in the whole forest i would love to but uh, don't have time for that <sighs> but at least we will try to pick some trash uh, from this area and i'm 100 percent sure when we leave it will be the same <sighs> turkish people what's wrong with you like uh, like what the hell <laughs> uh, all right let's clean here then we hope to have a, a little swim to refresh ourselves. It's already almost five or something or six. And yeah, we will start packing our stuff out. We had a shower <laughs> we in the, the sea. Season. We opened what? Season, season. Yeah. swimming season. Yay, we are salty. We have beer, we have fish fish snack nice. we have a uh, closing uh, rope <laughs> beautiful already we got a place ready here for a tent the car is nearby finally yeah uh, as you see we cleaned trash a little bit it's so much nicer now more beautiful we Collected some stuff here from the trees, packed some stuff. Cheers, guys. Cheers. I think we deserved a good rest, right? Yay, finally, now a small beer break. And then we will start preparing our tent. Yeah, Dinner. everything. Dinner, yeah. We bought uh, chicken. We bought some vegetables. So we even have marshmallows that have been in Georgia with us for a while, and we <laughs> always forget about them because usually we don't stay for a night. Or these days we stayed uh, in such way that in the morning we had to leave really fast, and in the evening we started very late. So we were tired. Now we will stay here two days, right? Yeah. At least. Uh, yeah, well, at least two days. Maybe more, who knows? You know, maybe we'll be in the mood. And then we'll start heading to Ankara and then go up to the Black Sea and start going back to Georgia. So that's why we would like to stay here a bit longer. So we actually have vacation and not just uh, driving uh, all the time, looking for the last resort uh, hotel or uh, uh, the place for the tent. The water is wonderful. I will show you it uh, in the next video, of course, uh, or the tomorrow. The biggest right now for me, like discomfort is trash. Like, you know, it's yeah. like too much, really. Like you just look and here is trash. Look there, there is trash and it's like, a bit disappointing, you know, you want to uh, rest and you see all this kind of sad. We packed our stuff out, we have our tent ready, we are preparing some chicken, we have a salad, we have a sea. <laughs> we are done for today. Make sure to let us know what you think about our journey, leave some comments, subscribe, yeah, please. To, subscribe to our channel and make sure to watch our previous video if you haven't yet or just subscribe to our channel to keep updated with our next videos from our journey in turkey good, good night, night. And good night. Bye.